The process is monitored by the intervention specialist. They are trained, that's their degree, that's their area of expertise. They write the IEP, um, and they are the ones who monitor the IEP. Progress monitoring needs to occur at the same time that all peers are receiving progress monitoring in the typical setting. So uh, traditionally, sometimes it's based off of the schools, and it could be six weeks or it could be nine weeks. But if there are midterms as well, then the uh, IEP team would need to send out a progress report at that point as well. There is a section in the IEP in which it explains to parents and others how often that progress will be monitored, what information they're going to be collecting in the monitoring process, and then how often they're going to be reporting that information back to families. It is the interventionist and the general ed teacher, they work together to monitor those goals, but the interventionist is in charge of kind of saying, do we need to meet again? Are we good with the year plan? Where are we with the IEP? We start with very measurable baseline data in the present levels of performance, where the child's currently functioning, and then we have very measurable data in terms of writing that measurable annual goal. We can then kind of measure in between the two things to see is the child making progress or are they not. The IEP is meant to be a living document. It's not something that we just file away. So if the team, uh, if a student is not showing sufficient progress and the team wants to reconvene, then an amendment can, make, can happen and a change can take place within the IEP. The IEP team has so much power Again, they've individualized this program of educational services to this child. They're the ones who are carrying it out day to day, and they have the ultimate authority and really changing it up or doing what they need to do in order for that child to be successful. You're looking at how that child is functioning towards the measurable annual goal and then the objectives, which are the steps up to that goal. And so you're trying to get a clear picture of that child's level of functioning on the day that you're assessing. Being told that your child is struggling is very personal. I, I know that as a parent myself. So know that when you're told that, again, we want to offer a helping hand. Um, school districts are here to say, we see your child is struggling, how can we help? So as a parent, take that help. Work hand in hand with us. We're not working against you. We want to work with you to make sure your child's successful. And we're not just looking at them in first grade. We want to get them through graduation. Um, so whatever we need to put in place to help with that, that's our goal. Um, so work with your school district. You know, call them, be in communication with them and your, your um, child's teacher on a, on a constant basis if your child's struggling and, and we will provide whatever we can to help them.